Hello again, and holy shit, I just realized it's been two weeks since my last upload, and just, wow, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, to be fair, and I'm sure you guys all know this by now, my life is a mess, and it's kind of hard to find time to make these videos between streaming and my real life stuff and the time I set aside every day to cry and watch anime on my couch. So, it's really been rough, you know, I haven't really had time to make these videos, but here I am, I'm finally back, and I'm uploading a brand new commentary for you guys, and the topic of today's video is going to be something that's just been on my mind a lot lately, and that's kind of how these videos go, as you know, and it's just been, yeah, it's been really something that's been kind of bothering me, but also just kind of just made me think deeper about things, and that's, uh, what is my purpose in life, you know, what, what am I here for, what's, what's the end game, you know, what, what is my meaning, what, what, what can I do that would give me meaning, you know, um, because I think to some extent I have maybe fulfilled my purpose already that I think there are things that have happened in my life that I was You know no one else but me could do and I did them and now they're done, you know But I feel like looking more into the future and just more long term I think there maybe is something I could do of greater importance or greater You know that would give me greater meaning in life, you know beyond what I've already done And it's something that really kind of makes me think a lot and really rethink a lot of decisions I make um, one of which was recently when I decided to take back my old job, uh, starting on the 18th, which will affect my stream and upload schedule, but I'll make another video about that. Um, but yeah, I did decide to go back to work at my old job. They finally, you know, hit me with a decent job offer that was equal or better to my last job. So I was like, you know, fuck it. I'll go back, you know, whatever. This probably sounds like a good thing, especially if you watched my other videos where I complained about not having a job and about struggling to find a new job. You know, I should be happy. And I, I am to some extent. I'm happy to be able to make money and go back to work. But... And the big but, <laughs> there's always a but, it's not feeling like I made the right decision, you know, to some extent. Now, to explain that better, I feel like there are multiple times in your life where you're presented with these opportunities to change your life for the better and for the future, you know, for the rest of your life. That you can take this path that will ultimately make your life better or worse. Maybe you don't know at the time, maybe it's a gamble, I don't know, maybe it's a for sure thing. Like, if you do this, your life is set, you know, it's a really good job. It's like a lifetime career or something like that, you know, or it's a gamble where, you know, maybe you can invest in something and then you're going to make a bunch of money or you're going to lose all your money, something like that. I don't know. You're always presented with these opportunities in life, I think, you know, at various points throughout your life. And I think I was presented one of those opportunities when I lost my job because I had this time where I could basically uh, rebuild myself. You know, I could do something different as far as work. I could go to school. I could, you know, get certified in things to get a better job or to get better paid in the job path I was already in. And I basically just did nothing. You know, I've been streaming and uploading. That's great. And it's, you know, it's given me enough purpose to kind of, you know, skate by for now. But that's basically all I've done. I've, my whole life, I've always just kind of skated by and just done the bare minimum to survive and exist. And I think that's good enough for some people. And I'm happy for you. And I think for me, for the longest time, I was one of those people. I just was happy with existing as long as I had enough money to, you know, put a roof over my head and pay the bills I needed to pay and, you know, put food in my mouth. I didn't care. Whatever else, it didn't matter if I had extra money. You know, it was always nice to buy things, to buy a new car, buy new games, buy new whatever. And it, it was always cool to have those things, but I really didn't care too much about them. You know, I really, as long as I was making enough money to survive, that's all I cared about. But again, I was presented with this opportunity where I could have changed that. I could have done something differently to basically affect the rest of my life, or at least for, for the next few years. I could have got a way better job or, you know, really spent time focusing on, you know, learning and growing to you know, get a better job or to get in a better position in life. And I really just chose to just wait it out until basically my job told me to come back or another job of equal pay, you know, I would have been willing to take that. And now that that's happened, now that I've, you know, accepted this job at back at my old place and, you know, everything is fine and dandy, uh, kind of feels the opposite. I kind of feel like I missed out on this, this grand opportunity to change things and to do something differently for once. And I know it's not the last time this opportunity will present itself, but maybe it could be 10 years before that. And maybe I'm just gonna exist for the next 10 years, you know, paycheck to paycheck, bill to bill, whatever. And then just, I mean, I'll be fine, I'll be here. I'll, there'll be food on the table, the lights will be on. Yeah, I'll still be able to play my games and chill out and see my friends and whatnot. But am I really doing anything different? I mean, is anything really better or worse? I mean, it's just kind of meh, you know? Like, I kind of feel like an NPC in a game where, I just, I'm, I'm just existing, and then when I stop existing, it, other people will just keep existing. It may has no effect, you know. Maybe it has an effect on my circle, you know, my family, my friends, stuff like that. But then even then, they'll forget and they'll move on with their lives, and that's just how life is for most people. But 
something I've always thought about since I was younger. You know, when you're young, when you're a kid, you think about like I want to be a superhero. I want to be like a a Jedi. If you're in the Star Wars, I was always in the Star Wars. That's why I said that. <laughs> but uh, obviously, you know, the older you become, you realize those things aren't possible. But I'm still kind of left with this feeling like there was something bigger or better I'm supposed to be doing, or there could be something you know, bigger or better. Because I don't like to say should because I don't believe in fate or destiny. I don't think there is a set in stone thing you're put on earth to do. I think any person, whether you're born rich, poor, anything in between, I think you decide your own fate. You know, I think certain things are set in stone for you. So say if you're born into a rich family, you know, things are going to be easy for you. Vice versa, if you're born into a poor family, things are going to be tough for you. Well, I think depending on how much work or how little work you put in, you can decide the future of your life. You could be born rich, but end up homeless. You could be born poor, but end up, you know, rich and famous. You know, it's happened plenty of times both ways. And it's not just about money. That's just the easiest way to explain it is with money, because that's what most people think about. And money is not something I've thought about uh, as an important thing in a very long time. And it's not something I probably ever will think about as anything beyond means of surviving. You know, I don't really think I would be happy if I had millions. If I became a famous YouTuber today and made millions of dollars, you know, I wouldn't care as much as people might think I would, because it just isn't what I want. I don't want money. Money solves temporary problems. It, you know, as long as I'm able to provide and, you know, pay all the stuff I need to pay for, that's all I care about as far as money. And the extra money, yeah, it'd be nice, but I think that would probably get boring after like a month. It's like, what the fuck am I going to do with all this money? You know, buy a bigger house, buy a faster car, buy, you know, every new console that comes, every new game, whatever. I mean, that stuff's cool and all, but it also doesn't really fulfill this need for like a greater purpose in life for me and i i've looked at other outlets as well you, know, you can look at you know military religion uh tons of other things that people do to find purpose or find meaning or fulfill that that calling you know and and i didn't do any of those things and i you know could have if i wanted to i could have became a priest or i could have you know joined the, the military but i chose not to do those things because i also felt like those weren't things i was meant to do but again I still have this feeling where I need to do something bigger than myself or just more important. I think it maybe comes from, you know, watching too many movies, playing too many games as a kid, whatever. I think a lot of people maybe think this too, where you just feel like you are supposed to be like the main character. It's sometimes referred to as main character syndrome. And I don't necessarily see myself that way. I don't think I'm the main character in the story of life. But I do think that maybe there is something bigger I could be doing and that I've been almost working against myself to stop myself from doing that because I choose to wait and sit around and do nothing and wait for this shitty job to come back around so I can survive, you know, and surviving is good. You know, I, I need to make money to survive and provide for, you know, my family, whatever. But I also would like to be doing something better, you know, be doing something bigger, more important to leave behind some sort of legacy or, you know, something of importance. I don't want to be just another spoke in the wheel of life, you know, just constantly going around and around just and when one breaks, it just gets replaced by another, you know, and that's not how I want to live my life. I really don't know how to solve this problem or what the answer is or what it is I'm supposed to be doing here. Because again, I don't believe in fate or destiny. I don't think there's something I was just put here to do. And it, I've had a really hard time trying to figure out, you know, what would fulfill that need inside me that 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 want for meaning in life that nothing has provided me so far. Um, and I don't know. Um, so now that you're all thinking about it, too, I'm sorry. And uh, let me know if you have any solutions to this problem or, you know, suggestions on what I should do in the future because I have no fucking idea. I don't think anybody truly knows, but maybe somebody out there, maybe there's some old, wise, 65-year-old man or woman who's watching this video and they can tell me what the fuck it is I'm supposed to do with my life. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's it for me today. Um, I'll hit you back with a brand new depressing commentary next week. Thank you for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.